Hey, Spike Stormy or Divas Lions, it's me, Spike with Assassin here. Come to a video in this video. I am, um, well, simply just redrawing, but I put the, um, Steam Universe characters into the world of MHA. So, yeah, and I think I really like how these designs turned out, but they're all relatively small. Much of in reality now, I should have looked the pictures, but, meh. It turned out pretty well. Without further ado, let's roll intro and let's get into this video and uh, let's go. Like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Okay, it's me, um, Infomaniac. And I am going to be telling y'all about some relatively, I might say relatively, I mean interesting people. They are all part of a hero organization, oh, soon to be or hero organization. They're in their last years of um, high school. Um, don't really know which one, but it's a pretty interesting um, high school. It's a high school full of, how do you put this? Artificial quirks. Now these are full of humanoids. There is also different types of artificial quirks. The first ones are um, basically givers or bestowers. Or it's hard to put it, but these like all for one giving you a quirk. But instead, it's an artificially made quirk. That's what these are. They they are quirks you can get, like a secondary one. That are artificially made, pretty much biotech, very advanced stuff. Then there is the machine, like a racer heads, um, racer quirk. It, this one machine can actually racer quirk by using an artificial quirk. But then there's the humanoid and beast one, artificial quirk, that gain a humanoid or monstrous form. These are well. These are the ones I'm talking about today. First one is someone named Steven Universe. His hero name is actually going to be Supporter because he is more of a supporting role in the, in the team. But he's actually, in reality, their strongest fighter, both physically, mentally, and psychologically. This guy's able to pretty much um, go into the mindscape after passing out if he wants to. He can evade your dreams. Matter of fact, he can use very limited shape shifting. I talked to him once. He told me about this one accident. He um, turned into a cat monster. Basically, just a bunch of cat heads. And his father helped him turn it off by spraying it with water. His mother um, is weirdly enough an artificial quirk. She was known as Rose Quartz, but later revealed to be one of the top commanders of the own um, crystals. Crystals are um, the type of gem, are the type of quirk that they're known as. They're basically made for armies. And she was actually, in reality, a, um, how do you put this, the pink diamond commander. So, yeah, she just shapeshifted herself to look like a rose quartz. But she still goes by rose. But, so, yeah. That's where he gets so many of his abilities. And weirdly enough, he actually resurrected someone, giving them a um, whole new quirk. Pretty much their old quirk died when their original body died. The secondary quirk um, is known as pink. It is pink after death. Basically, it, um, another animal has something similar. But it's a very rare occurrence. But yes, physical. Um, humanoid, um, artificial quirks and a human can have a child, but most cases resolved in the, um, whichever parent was the artificial quirk disappearing in order to have the child be half biological. So, let's get to the next one. Now, when I say these next ones are old, I'm talking they're older, well older than him, but they listen to him now because of 
well, not really just because of their um, his new rank, but also because he is someone very nice. He's friends with pretty much anyone you can think of. He also has a girlfriend named Carney with a pretty interesting quirk and another artificial quirk. She actually managed to learn and make her own, but I'll talk about her later. The first one I'm talking about is someone named Amethyst. Yes, like the gym. Um, each one was given a name after a gym, but these are no... Her hero name is um, C.G. Amethyst, and her quirk is Jim Amethyst. Oh, and his, um, and Steven's quirk was, um, P Jim Pink Diamond, which was a, um, now, which was originally labeled as Rose Quartz, but, um, yeah, it's pretty interesting, but Amethyst is, um, well, very short, a lot shorter than him, actually, but, um, her, she actually has a dash ability, and she's actually more known to be one of the more prolific shapeshifters out of the bunch. Now, um, the others do are have the ability to shapeshift, but not as well. And my sister is so well in it that she is able to change her entire body or different limbs of it at will. But, um, each gem, when defeated in battle, they, unless they're core is destroyed they just retreat back into their core and when after being protected for so long they have the ability to come back so yeah pretty much chop off a limb they you'll just find a core remaining and you crush it you defeat them on you defeat them permanently but if you keep it like as a trophy <laughs> you're going to fight them again sooner than later and also it's been shown later on that thanks to Steven and the other commanders, it's actually shown that their essence or tears is actually able to bring back fully shattered um, other gems. So it is not well known. I just know about this because, well, he told me about the time he accidentally shattered someone and he regretted it. Now, Back to Amethyst, her dash ability is pretty much fire, but she just um, stops and curls up into a ball and speeds her inner, her, I feel like she's made of solid and light, so yeah, you can see how strong that is. She's able to dash, and using that energy, she can land a pretty devastating hit on someone. I've seen her punch through a um, gym monster, which is basically just a corrupted gem. Punch right through it, and about five seconds later, the thing poofed. It was able to let off some intelligible words, but in reality, it was just a cry for help to a monster nearby, which they, with the help of Kanye and Bob there, which they were able to defeat. So let's get to the next one. This next one is actually someone who used to be a commander in the um, gym armies um, under Pink herself. But then under later under Rose, who is still Pink, and she's actually the first and only person who knew it, other than Pink herself, which her secret was sealed away. And Pearl, which is her name, her hero name is G, is F, C G Pearl. And her quirk is, well, Jim Dash Pearl. Very simple for all of them, except for the last ones. She's a really interesting case on that one. But, um, her main weapon, unlike Amethyst, which was a whip, hers is actually a spear, but the size of her. She's a master spear's win. Spear's woman? That's her. Um, and it's like how swordsmanship is called. Swordsmanship for both men and women. So she's a really good spearman with pretty much anything you think of and well especially with her own spear she's able to create clones of herself which is makes up for the lack of her actually making other of shape shifting which goes for show that um she is by far one of the strongest and her clones are actually able to fuse and 
not really phone clone, like full on clones of herself. They're just more like computer program solidified. And they are shown to still be around at, even after she is poofed. Um, like this one time, Steven told me about this time, he, Pearl got stabbed through the chest while showing him how to fight using swordsmanship. And she's both very talented with a sword and a spear, for the record. And she got poofed through after being stabbed. It took about two weeks to recover just because she wanted a, um, her original form and it took a while to get all the stuff in order. Now, the way he learned about his heritage of being a commander, he, yeah, well, went inside her. Not like that. Get your head out of the gutter. But, um, gems are able to transport someone's mind or entire physical body into their, um, more or less their consciousness into their gym, um, if they want them to see something. He had to go in pretty far because after a few layers, um, first was something like, um, her just sword and everything, and, well, yeah, also gems are able to store physical items in there. Um, well, gems. It's a weird spatial um, part of the quirk, artificial quirks. But, yeah, really powerful. After going in so far, he learned that his mother was Pink Diamond. Now, let's get to the last one, and then by far the most interesting case besides Steven I know of. Now, gems are actually able to fuse with one with each other to give themselves a boost of strength and speed and durability. But it's very rare that a gem can actually, a fused gem of two halves, can actually fall in love with each other. <clears throat> That's what the case of, Kar of Garna is. She is a fusion for love, um, which is weird to say. But she's actually known nowadays to have two wedding rings on her, one in each hand. Her two halves are, well, ruby and a sapphire. She, um, it's pretty interesting. Um, her, her name is, well, Garnet. Her name is C.G. Garnet, and of course it's Garnet. Garnet, but that's when they're in that form. When they're separated, which can actually happen, and, well, let's just say, this that um she can and actually does um sometimes it's very rare she actually shows the ability of foresight and seeing the future which can actually be um changed after showing what um after what her the third ruby did he pushed her off the uh he pretty much saved her from being poofed. Well, she. It's hard to say they're genderless, but they prefer she, her pronouns. <clears throat> and I'm fully supporting that. And let's just say that um, they, <clears throat> well, not just her ability, not just Sapphire's ability of foresight, Ruby also has the ability of um, something like, something like cryokinesis. But mostly it has to do with heat. So Garnet has the ability to go walk through both extremes without really getting injured. And she's able to walk, she pretty much is able to swim through magma. And Sapphire is actually able to use cryokinesis because this one time, Stephen told me about this time that they were um, going on a vacation to grab something with his dad. And Garnet came along too. And Garnet actually. Few, um, fews, because her, because Sapphire and Ruby were having an argument after, um, well, Ruby was mad that why didn't it, um, what was it, why didn't, um, Rose say anything, boy K pink, thinking about being pink diamond, so, but they eventually reconciled, and let's just say they had a very short and cute wedding, <laughs> He's showing me some wedding pictures, which is uh, something I actually find very cute. And he's actually 
Now, um, well, the main reason why, for the record, they were given Pluto as a planet to work with. And they actually made some tech that um, pretty, ma pretty much made it a hospital for, for humans. Now, so, they call it Homeworld now. And now on Homeworld, he's actually, the reason why it's more of a um, democracy now. And a lot of things have changed. And when I say a lot, I mean quite a few things. So, yeah. That's all I got for today. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video because that's all the time I got for today. Until next time, subscribe today, today to join the Spike Astronomy or the Moss Alliance. Goodbye and peace out, everyone.